Okay, kids, it's now time for our truck craft. All right, I have these as templates that you will be able to print out and cut them out. You can print them in black and white if you'd like, or use them just to with white cardstock and then color them, paint them, use magic markers, decorate them. All right, whatever you want, but I just gave you colors in case. If you do have a color printer and you want to print them in color and you don't have the colored paper, it gives you those options. Plus, I put a sample on each one. Here are two samples of two trucks that we will be making. All right. And I am not going to cut. I already cut the pieces. So I will just put them on, but you will be doing some cutting at home. So I have two pieces of paper that we will use. And I'm first going to do the first truck. So we're going to take the big square piece and we're going to glue that one first. And I like to do it, the paper holds it like that. Gives us more room. And I'll put that uh, right near, little, little off to the middle. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the front part in. Okay, so we're going to try to line up the front with the bottom of the big part. And we're going to glue that right. Put that right here. All right, that should match up pretty good. Starting to look like a truck already, huh? Then we're going to take the inserts, the longer one. We're going to glue that one. That's going to be like a window. We're going to put that three quarters of the way or so up top in the middle. And we're going to take the little one and put it in the front. So we're matching the bigger one with the bigger one, the little one with the little. And these are rectangles. So this is all made from shapes. Okay, and you could just free, freeform cut shapes as well. You don't even need the templates. Then we're going to take our tires. This is a bigger truck, so we're going to use three tires. And we're going to put the little hubcaps on. And again, you can make them whatever color you want. You can decorate them. You can really have fun. Okay, I tried one earlier and I used washi tape. It really looked cool. You could put numbers on them. You could put Amazon logo on them. Whatever you want to do. And then take your glue, put one here, put one here. And put one over here. You can draw people in the windows, little stick figures, whatever you want to do. Make your tires even. Okay, and there's our first one. And I made these little hearts. Just so it looks really cute. You could stick a little heart right in there. Okay. Hold it down a little bit. Okay. And this is our first one. Right? So, there we go. And then we are going to do our second one. Our second one, we're going to take the big square. This looks like a milk truck to me. You know what? When I was a little girl, we used to have milk delivered to our house. And eggs, too. And the man who used to deliver drove a truck that looked like this. I don't see them anymore. They used to come from out in the Amish country. His name was Mr. Landis. And he would say, here I am, I'm the egg man. The egg man or the milk man. Now this one I did the other way. But again, you can do it either way. All right, and here comes the front part. And that's gonna go right here. Even though it's green, I hope you can see it doesn't show up as much. And then we're gonna take the next square, and these are squares. Squares 
all four sides are the same. Rectangles, they're the same on two sides, but they're a different size than the other two sides. But the other two sides are the same as each other. So that's the difference between a square and a rectangle. From a square, you can make a triangle if you fold it in half. But you can't do that with a rectangle. Okay, and then we're going to take our two inserts and just just fun. I saw I saw something like this and I said, I bet I can make this. This is so cute. I think it was a toy. And I, and I looked at it and I said, Oh, it is. This is a bunch of squares and rectangles and a couple of circles, right? So I thought about it and I came home. And I decided to sit down and make it myself for you guys. All right. So here it are. Boy, I miss you all. I really do. I miss all my kids. All right, so then we're going to take our two. This time we're only going to use two, so we'll put one in the back, one in the front. All right, I hope you're neater than Miss Andy is. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to put this in. All right, and then we're going to take two more. It's looking cute, isn't it? We'll put these right in the middle. I like this one. I like them both. If you make them little, you can make cards out of them. You know, for your friends' birthdays or whatever. Once we start having birthday parties again. Soon, hopefully. And then, I did another heart. But you can do any kind of stickers. I'm going to put another one right there. It's just to show how much I love all of you. Okay. And... There's my other one. And again, you can be as creative as you want. This really lends itself to getting crazy and having fun with it. I hope you like this. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will see you next week. Take care.